Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at winsound.com. This video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the speed mode within the flex line feature in Logic Studio 9. And remember, you can keep up to date with the latest releases from Winsound Studios by following us on Facebook and Twitter. You want to go to the region that you're going to work within. Simply click on the button that now says off. You want to slide down to the bottom where it says speed. Select that. Speed mode is now open. And now you're going to see these white lines on top of every bar, on top of every beat that's happening within the region. Those are called transient markers. You're going to see a second bar as well, one with the orange marker on top. And this is called the flutz marker. This is actually where you click and then drag, where you can change time stretch the actual audio within the region. And now, to uh, create your own flutz markers, all you need to do is simply click on the region and you're going to create a flutz marker. If you click on the top half of the region, it's going to create just one flutz marker exactly where you click. Whereas if you select the bottom half of that region, it's going to create three flutz markers. One exactly where you click and two on the surrounding transient markers of your mouse. And so now with a uh, speed mode, it basically changes the time and pitch of the audio that you have selected. So let me give you an example. If I simply drag this note out long, it's going to slow it down. Let's give this a listen. As compared to if I undo this by hitting Command Z, this originally sounded like that much, much faster. Whereas if I go, let me do this one right here, or if I slow this, go in the other direction, it's going to go much faster. And a much higher pitch, or if I undo that, as you can tell, there's a huge difference. And just for one more explanation, as you can see, as I'm dragging this marker to the left, uh, there are two different colors. One is green and one is orange. The orange means expand, the audio is expanding, whereas the green means the audio is compressing. And if you drag in opposite directions, that changes appropriately. Check out Winksound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Winksound Studios. Just search for Winksound at the iTunes store.